What's up, guys? It's your boy Fast Lane D, and today we've got a treat for you guys, man. I've never ridden one of these bikes. Actually, I have. I rid an older generation one, but I have not ridden the new one. I've been itching to get on one. I'm gonna stop teasing you guys. I'm gonna flip y'all around. Woo! So check it out. We've got an Aprilia RC4 1100 factory, not just any Aprilia. We got 650 Eves. Aprilia, he's in the trailer packing up right now. We've got like 10 minutes, probably less than that, to do this video. So shout out to Eve for letting me ride this bike, man. Thank you, thank you. I know he's trying to get on the road. We've had a long weekend, but uh, yeah. Any any mods I should know about? No, it has the Brent Tuning ECU flash. It has the Sprint Air filter. Yeah. SU Project uh, slip-on canister. It is lowered three quarters of an inch here we go front and rear and it hits gp shift okay oh uh, yeah i forgot all right that'll be a nice little uh switch up but we'll be fine we'll make it work man heck yeah i appreciate it again eve thank you thank you but yeah look at the beautiful sc project carbon on carbon with all the blooming in the exhaust this color wave with the black and gold is absolutely gorgeous man gorgeous gorgeous you got the rizoma stealth mirrors on there you got the carbon front fender hashtag be a racer Y'all know that's a pretty this little saying there. And uh, yeah, I mean, beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Of course, with the aftermarket. See, dude, look at all these settings on this. Oh, the suspension. That is cool. Phone and music. So it's almost like the BMW setup. All right, Aprilia, I see you, baby. All right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get on here, baby. guys check it out freaking aprilia rc4 1100 factory i've been itching to get on one of these i'm super excited yeah this thing is beautiful i don't know y'all comment down below let me know do y'all think this bike sounds better or do y'all think the r1 the cross plane engine sounds better hashtag be a racer Whew. god that sounds so good Uh, GP shift, I gotta remember that. This tank is very like, this is a very edgy bike. Like boxy. Like there's a lot of the very defined lines. On this thing, brakes are good. Comfort wise, definitely first thing I noticed is how edgy this bike is. And y'all gotta remember, I've been riding my M1000 RR all day. So getting on this thing, it's kind of hard to compare it to the M1K because that bike is so comfortable. But man, you cannot beat how this bike sounds, dude. What the heck? Just listen, it sounds like it has a cam in it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all hear that? Oh my God, my ears, bro. Okay, y'all know I love unique sounding bikes. Like that's why I have the R1, I have the V4 and the H2. Like the M1000RR is the first like common sounding bike, typical inline four sounding bike that I have. So like this just has my heart from the start, man. Oh my gosh. Like I said, we have 10 minutes, so obviously in a perfect world, we take this on like a track, do a track day or do some back roads, but Eve's trying to get on the road, so I was like, yo, let me ride the bike real quick, because we've been talking about it all weekend, and just, it's been so much going on, we haven't had time, but. That 
quick shift is a little a little questionable it could also just be the first and second shift all right It's just like power on demand. Like it's just like power, 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 power. All right, hold on. Let me get it in the lower RPMs. That's that V4 configuration. It just makes torque all throughout the power band. Let's do one pull. Let's do a uh, second gear. Are y'all ready? Go! God wanted me to hit it. I had to give the people what they want, man. You probably heard how incredible this bike sounds. Oh my God, that pipe sounds amazing. Freaking amazing. Now, I wouldn't say the bike feels heavy, but I've also been riding a lot of bikes lately with carbon wheels. Like I've been riding my Ducati, it's got carbon wheels, my M1000 double RS carbon wheels. But I would like to get this thing on the track because how it makes the, delivers the power. Oh my God. Yo, know, this thing sounds incredible. I can't get over that. Oh, it might sound better than the R1, dude. It pains me to admit that. But this might have the R1 beat, man. Oh yeah, brakes are phenomenal. Jeez. Oh yeah, brakes are great. This thing is also lowered, so keep that in mind. I can literally just grab full throttle and it does not move. Dude, I would I would love to do a track day on this bike. I do like the gauge cluster. It is really easy to see everything, all the readout of all the information. It reminds me, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same gauge cluster that the R660 has. Alright, y'all comment down below, man. Do y'all want to see an RSV4 on the channel? Would that be a cool bike? I'll be honest with you, the main reason why I haven't bought one is I just don't have any Aprilia dealerships around me. And that's important when buying a bike, at least for me is have a dealership around that I trust and there are just aren't anywhere I live so maintenance kind of scares me with this thing I know Eve hasn't had any issues at all I'm pretty sure Puya actually gave him this bike which is freaking awesome shout out to them for doing that man believing in uh, what we do as influencers because it's important man so Puya if you want to want to give your boy a bike let me know I'll gladly make some fun content with it, man. But yeah, like I said, I really, I, I like this thing. I wasn't sure I was gonna like it or not, but it is fast lane D approved, baby. Gay. We might have to do it, baby. 
let me give this bike back to E before I get in some trouble, man. Holy cow. Everyone's head's just like turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh man. I'm like happy and excited, sad at the same time. I'm happy because I do love this thing. This thing's incredible. I'm sad because I'm like, I need to stop spending money on bikes. <laughs> it's like a, a disease, man. I, I can't shake it. It puts such a big smile on my face, man. There's not a lot that gets me hyped. But that just did. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. And like I said, it being lowered just a little bit, being able to plant and go, like just hit it. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. <sighs> All right, y'all let me know. Should we do it? <laughs> Should we add an eight to the garage? I'm not gonna lie, when this bike first came out, I really wasn't a fan of the looks. Like, I love everything about the bike. Like, the tail section looks good. The side profile looks good. How they did the lines, how they incorporated, like, the wings in there on the side without it actually, like, looking like a wing. Like, it looks part of the body. I love, like, the, um, the daytime LEDs on there. And then with the Rizoma mirrors, and that tall WRS windshield. Looks beautiful, but I just wasn't a fan of the headlights, but they're starting to grow on me, man. They really are starting to grow on me. I think they do actually look good, especially with the DRLs on. It just looks pissed off. Like This looks very angry. With the black and gold, chef's kiss, man. <laughs> but all right, that's all I got for y'all. If y'all enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the fat playing gang, bang, bang. Once again, Shout out to Priya. Shout out to Eve. He's packing up his bikes in the trailer there. Um, shout out to him for letting me ride it. I know the boys are waiting on me to go eat. So uh, we're going to go eat and to enjoy the rest of the, the afternoon. Appreciate y'all watching. As always, work hard, be consistent. You can do anything you want in life. Peace.